When you clicked open this video, you were probably thinking, there's no way that I'm pronouncing this word wrong. Maybe you're right, but let's give it a test, shall we? Type one in the comments if you're pronouncing it like this. Asian, Asian. Type two if you pronounce it like this. Asian, Asian. I'll say them one more time. One, Asian. Two, Asian. If you just voted for one or two, then congratulations. You're exactly the person that I'm making this video for because both of those two choices were wrong. You have found a video that will help you improve your English pronunciation. Don't worry, it's an easy fix. Let me help you. If you're mispronouncing the word Asian, then most likely you're confusing this English sound, zh, with two other sounds. If number one was your choice, then you've replaced zh with sh. If number two was your choice, then you replaced zh with the Chinese R sound, zh. Let's take a look at them one at a time. The first one, Asian, has the same sound as in nation, passion, mission, station. They all have the sound sh, which is a voiceless consonant sound. Your vocal cords do not vibrate when you make that sound. Lightly touch your throat with your fingers. You will not feel vibration when you say sh. You hear this sound in a lot of words. She, show, rush, crush. But in the word Asian, do you hear that sound? There is no sh in Asian. It's zh. This sound has the same mouth and tongue position as sh, but it is a voiced consonant sound. That's the only difference between these two sounds. Without vibration, sh. With vibration, zh. Do you feel it? Practice with me. Let's say this word first, wash. Then we'll drag out the last sound, sh. After that, we'll add in the vocal cord vibration. Wash, wash. 这个时候，嘴型和舌头的位置保持不变，加入声带的震动。日，再来一次。Wash, wash. 日，后面再加入这个音 ，n。人，人，来带入单词中，注意单词的重音在第一个音上 ，a a 人，人 ，Asian Asian， 这个音不需要读得很重，因为这个单词的重音并不在它所在的音节上。淡淡的有一点浊化就可以了。你的目标是舒服的把这个单词说出来，不要给自己的身体增加没有必要的负担。Asian， 再来看刚才提到的第二种发音 ，Asian， 是不是听起来很像是把字母 A 的音和这个中文字的发音拼在了一起 ？A 人，如果你的发音是这样的话，那就是因为你把 z 替换成了中文拼音。r 的音日，这两个音都是浊音。中文的日，舌头的位置更靠后，舌尖需要微微的向上翘起来。但是英语里的日，舌尖是平的，而且更靠前。来对比一下这两个音，日，日，日，日，任，任。人，人 ，Asian，Asian， 同样的 ，Asia，Asia。希望我的视频对你有帮助。如果你希望精准的了解自己的英语发音习惯和发音倾向，从而清楚的找到最适合自己的发音学习方案，请发邮件到这个电子邮箱，我给你做一个一对一的发音测试，也可以进一步的跟我系统性的学习发音。
。跟我一起练习英语发音，请加关注。感谢你的点赞和转发，非常期待下次再见。See you soon.